Hi everyone, I'm Joe and today I'm going to be reviewing Proxima by Stephen Baxter. This was originally published in 2013 and this is the Glance edition. It is a hard science fiction novel. The plot is quite complex and I don't want to say too much about it because frankly between this and its sequel which is called Ultima I would give away too much if I said um, too much detail of course and this is the sort of book where it's the exploration and the journey that matters more so I have to be careful what I say but I will make an attempt. The year is 2166 and there is a pre-colonization mission to Proxima which is the nearest star to our own. It is speculated in the book and indeed in real life that there is a world um, of Earth size off Proxima that could in theory support Earth life and as a aside this has actually been proved well whether it um, supports human life is debatable but there is a planet exactly where Baxter has actually predicted there is of exactly the same kind as well and size so which was actually even in the news very briefly last year because of how surprisingly accurate uh, this was. Anyway a cast of characters goes on a long voyage they're basically in a form of query state you know the traditional put people in a essentially a freezer uh, on a long-term ship and they're going there to settle on the planet in small communities and build up some basic resources and some basic infrastructure this is also done to ensure that the ones there which is basically for the american continent and its allies they want to sort of get their name there first it's basically a land grab situation before the chinese the chinese in this book are the, one of the other massive civilizations of earth and indeed the solar system because humanity has expanded upon earth and is now owned and is living on multiple planets throughout our solar system and the two major powers are quite a few United Nations countries indeed that's what it's called the United Nations group and then you've got the Chinese that have gone into space as well and they own an awful lot of resources in space and this creates obviously tension and things which does come up and indeed is quite inf uh, influential on certain plot points in this book and indeed in Ultima as well. So this cast of characters starts developing infrastructure and they start obviously thinking of long term, you know, we've created the next generation and such. They have um, some technology on their side to help them, but not an excessive amount. They've essentially got an advanced uh, rover with a fully sentient AI intelligence on it, which can help them and advise them and give them any kind of knowledge that they don't know. And the plot kind of goes from there when they discover something on Prox and something is discovered back in our solar system and this thing that they discover which I'm not going to name is extremely uh, influential and is a basically a big um, pivot point for both this and Ultima because the books rely on this item in question let's say and this idea and everything goes in a very unusual way basically from what you think it's hard science fiction but it becomes a hybrid of something else especially in book two i'm not going to say hybrid of what but because also not just for spoilers for the fact that i'm still not entirely sure because the book gives in a very curious way over time and i'm still not entirely sure what the meaning of certain things are so i actually can't say anyway even if i didn't want to for spoiler reasons. But anyway, the book is an introspective on humanity, but more than that, it's also an introspective on the universe itself and just what um, humanity and indeed life in general means to the overall universe as a species and indeed as life. Are we bigger than we think in terms of universe scale or are we smaller? And more importantly, how much do we matter? Are we a unique occurrence you know is humanity the only life there or is that life everywhere and we just obviously haven't seen it yet or is there something more 
to the universe than what we are aware of and, what, and beyond our perceptions. That's what the book's asking and indeed that's what the book sort of brings up. It makes the character's perceptions change in drastically altered ways. Obviously your perception of what the character is perceiving also changes and this creates some really fascinating ideas which frankly really do make you think and I really did enjoy reading about. It explores these conceptual ideas in a really interesting and a really curious way which I haven't come across um, before and it's an interesting mix between hard science and deep meaningful um, sort of almost philosophy of life, the universe and everything, oh, that's Douglas Adams quote, and what we mean to not just the universe but what we mean to ourselves if we could find out our place in the universe and if we could have a sense of our own importance or lack of importance as the case may be. It's a curious idea and one that really does make you think in odd ways. Characters are not forgotten or neglected about however they are introduced and developed really rather well. Yes the science and the big ideas do still dominate but the characters are woven into the story extremely well and frankly without the characters of course the story would be completely pointless because the characters um, sort of move the plot on and indeed are the plot because it's their experiences of the universe and these weird discoveries they make both in our solar system and in the Proxima system that bring life to everything and indeed the book is about life what is life by our definition and what could life be by a greater sense of perception if you could perceive more than we can as a species or as an entity then what is life it's an interesting question yet again in the book the, this is a dark overall future but it's lighter for the characters yes the universe may be large dark and harsh but but life will find a way to survive i mean uh, Richard Attenborough says it rather well in Jurassic Park that life will find a way and indeed in this book as in real life life does find a way and it's kind of nice to read about sort of have sort of reaffirmed if you ever doubt that life can be sort of you know very dark and what with all the current uh, political and social situations going on in the world you know that life will still continue though ultimately which is just really nice reassuring so overall this is a really curious book which focuses on grand conceptual ideas of the universe, life and our place within that universe. And overall I would recommend both this and obviously if you like Proxima then you will want to read Ultima to science fiction fans and anybody who just likes these big grand questions and likes to think about these kind of ideas. So with that said that's it for this review. If you've read this book we need both books then please leave a comment and we can have a conversation or indeed you can comment on somebody else's comment and have a comment and have a conversation in the comment section below uh, all my social media links can be found in the description box below as they always are thank you for watching and i'll see you another day bye for now